What do you do when you live in a van and you have to fly somewhere? I'm gonna answer that question in this video. I just got back from my annual doTERRA convention in Salt Lake City. This year I flew from Columbus, Ohio to Salt Lake City and it was so simple and so much better than your normal early flight coming in late scenario. I was able to park for just $5 a day in long-term parking and uh, my flight I had to be at the airport at four something in the morning. And so what I did was I just got to long-term parking at around nine the night before. I hadn't packed yet, so I took a few minutes to pack my bags. And then I just climbed into bed. When it was time to get up for my shuttle, I just got up, got ready, and the shuttle was passing my van as I got out. Super simple. Coming the other way, I got in at about 11 p.m., way too late to go find a place to park. I got the shuttle to the long-term parking lot, got off right at my van, went in, went to bed, and had a great night's sleep. You would think it'd be super loud, but living in a van, you're kind of used to that anyway. And so it was actually a really great night's sleep. I knew I wasn't going to get a knock on the door and um, I knew I was set until 9 p.m. tonight. So super easy. Check it out. Try it out. Um, if you have to fly somewhere, it's a great way to go. Please hit that thumbs up below and make sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any upcoming videos. And I want to thank you for your thoughtful comments and questions. So keep them coming and I'll do my best to respond. This is Joni with the Galavan. Enjoy your journey.